on here. Here we go with another bowling ball. Ready on the right. Are you ready on the left? Ready on the This model you have constructed is a 1 40th scale model of a swinging counterweight trebuchet. Designed to knock down castle walls, swinging counterweight trebuchets were the state-of-the-art siege machines in medieval Europe. Let's talk about the science behind this machine. The physics of the trebuchet is fairly sophisticated, but the basic energy transfer is actually fairly simple. When we raise the counterweight to this height, we've increased its gravitational potential energy. So it's sitting there with some stored gravitational potential energy. When we pull the pin, we release it. I'll just get out of the way here. Our counterweight's down here now. It's fallen from here to here. It now has zero gravitational potential energy. The energy it lost was transferred into the energy of motion of the projectile, kinetic energy. When the trebuchet is in this position with the counterweight at the bottom, the counterweight is in its zero energy position. When we pull the arm down and raise the counterweight and then lock it in this position, it now has gravitational potential energy because it has moved up against gravity. This series of stills captured from video shows the sequence of events when a trebuchet fires. Pulling the fire pin allows the counterweight to fall. Potential energy is now converting to energy of motion, kinetic energy. Many parts of the trebuchet are picking up energy, but the rubber ball, our projectile, is picking up the most. As the arm starts swinging towards a vertical position, the sling starts to accelerate the projectile, creating enough force to pull the free end of the sling out of the release slot. The projectile is released from the sling, flying forward with kinetic energy transferred from the falling counterweight. Not all of the potential energy is transferred to the projectile. Some of it is converted into heat and sound. But the trebuchet is very efficient at transferring energy to the projectile. The trebuchet can be used in a science fair project. You could experiment with the aerodynamics of different projectiles, compare mass of counterweight to distance of throw, or experiment with different angles for the release slot. This model trebuchet does not create huge forces, but it can cause injuries if used improperly. Never use it to throw hard or sharp objects. Small rubber balls or bean bags are perfect projectiles. When setting up your trebuchet, keep your body and face to one side and never over the top. If the arm accidentally releases and strikes someone, it could injure them. Mark the end of the throwing arm with a bright color, then everyone can see it. For more information about this trebuchet, including building instructions, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.